My name is Otto, worked full time for a few years. I was semi-retired at the time, now I'm totally retired, so I just come up for the fun now. <laughs> they had John Deere for years, went through a few of them while I was around and, and uh, spent a lot of time down at Kinsey getting the carts and stuff and finally decided maybe to go with something different. I'm Jim Lynch and we farm here east of Marion. I'm Brian Lynch. I'm a third generation farmer. Well, we bought a 5900. Uh, we ordered it this last summer and got it in January and we put it to work in 2024 and it has worked excellent. Uh, we, we just love the, the things, the extra things that's on it, the things that are standard equipment that are optional on the other brands of planters. And I, it just amazes me. This is our first year with the Kinsey 5900 and it's been a great success for us. So this year it seemed like it was raining every other day, so we had to push it to the limit. Uh, I did 640 acres of corn in one day. So um, when you got to go, you got to go. When you got limited days, you got to get, get get it in the ground while the sun's shining. So we're uh, today we were planting a uh, uh, rootworm plot, and uh, so we were putting in insecticide with different traded corn on corn. So we basically just shut the bulk fill off and we were putting the, the seed right in the hopper and uh, we were planting in eight hybrids at a time across the planter and then the nice thing is when you get out on the end if you want to flush out you just hit the button on the blue vantage and it flushes it all out and then give the thumbs up to the guys and they could just dump the next hybrid in and away we go. A year ago this, this summer the last day we planted beans, the John Deere dealer brought a new 24 row and a John Deere tractor down, let us demo their high speed deer planter. And my son Brian really liked it because he'd been running a deer planter. And then we got an invite to go down to Kins and Boss for their field day. It was a select group. And uh, I was on a tractor cade, wasn't able to go that day. So Brian went on his own. He was a little reluctant. He kind of had his mind made up that it was going to be a deer planter. But he did go down there and got to run that and operate it and see what it was all about. And uh, when I got back with Brian a couple days later, uh, he says, well, Dad, it's going to be a Kinsey. We, we wanted uh, to do something different uh, with the liquid insecticide. And we liked the, a lot of the standard features on the Kinsey uh, with the spoked wheels, the gauge wheel arms, uh, easier maintenance, the scales on the tank, that was always, that was a plus for us. So uh, just a lot of, a lot of neat features that uh, put Kinsey above everybody else. The Kinsey had so many options on it that are just standard equipment, uh, such as the, the press wheel scrapers. Now we never had it, but we're on a strip till operation. Once in a while, like a year like this year, you got a little tackiness, picks up a little on the gauge wheel. Uh, I've never had scrapers, kind of always wished I'd had some, and standard equipment, uh, the scale, the, uh, the weight transfer on the wings, individual uh, sensors on every row for the insecticide. Only four hoses hook into the tractor, it's simple, don't have a whole cluster of hoses plugging into the tractor, has its own self-contained hydraulic system, has a reversible fan on it. Uh, so much quieter, just uh, bigger, better tires. Uh, this liquid system on this planter is better than anybody's on the market. And the price was, I, I won't quote on the air what the price difference, but it was substantial. And that's with all those options.